Meteorologist Travis Klineski here on this uh, Monday morning, a brand new work week, the final Monday of winter. And one thing I'm going to do real quick here, I'm going to draw this in here. This is our cold front. Oh, that's not a cold front. That is a, that is a jet stream line. <laughs> the wrong line there. There we go. This is a cold front right here that's going to be passing through the Tri-Cities over the next hour or so. As of the time of this recording, it's actually situated about right here. So it's moving to the east and southeast, and it will pass through pretty soon. Behind it, you're seeing a couple of things. Thicker clouds, a few light rain showers or sprinkles in a few spots in southwest Nebraska, and I think most notably, strong winds out of the north and northwest. We're seeing some gusty winds that are up. They're gusting this morning at this time, around 47 miles per hour in Broken Bow and Imperial. So, so there's going to be a brief window of time where the wind's going to get very gusty behind that front. Out ahead of it, the winds are very light this morning. That front will pass through the area this morning, a few sprinkles, light showers. Late in the day, the sunshine will start to return, and that cold front will be situated about right here late in the day in southeast portions of Nebraska. So again, strong winds behind that front, right in here, out of the north. We may see some gusts, especially right behind the front. I think that's where your strongest wind gust will be today, is right behind that cold front. But the winds will still gust later today, maybe 35 or so miles per hour. The winds will calm down tonight gradually. The uh, skies will stay mostly clear. Some low clouds off to the uh, east here. But most of us, very clear skies, colder temperatures behind that front. But some nice recovery tomorrow. A southwest wind picks up. Southwest winds, 10 to 20 miles per hour, maybe a little higher out here. And temperatures will warm up quite a bit along with plenty of sunshine. And then tomorrow night, just a couple of passing clouds. A very quiet night for Wednesday night into Thursday, or Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. And that'll be all ahead of our next cold front that'll pass through later in the day, Wednesday into Wednesday night. Temperatures for today, a cooler day today after yesterday's uh, upper 60s and lower 70s. We'll see highs mid to upper 50s, low to mid, uh, mid to upper 40s, low to mid 50s. I can get my numbers right here. That's what happens when you take off four days of work, by the way. Uh, southeast Nebraska, upper 50s, near 60 degrees there as that cold front will be coming through later in the day in southeast Nebraska. Uh, tonight, we'll dip back into the 20s, a colder night out there tonight compared to what we're seeing out there this morning. And then for tomorrow, we'll see it warm back up, mid to upper 50, or 60s, again, messing up those numbers, mid to upper 60s, maybe near 70 up there around the Valentine area. Tomorrow night, not as cold, 30s and lower 40s for overnight lows. And then Wednesday's kind of an interesting day because we'll see a couple of things here. We're going to see a, a cold front begin to approach from the northwest. So increasing clouds from the northwest. But still mild out ahead of that front, 60s and lower 70s, a little cooler out towards the west. With that front coming through, that will come our next chance of uh, moisture along with some cooler air. Let's show you, I'm going to show you some long range moisture, uh, some long range forecast models. This is the European forecast model. Uh, this is starting Wednesday morning. Here comes the increasing clouds and eventually some of that moisture Wednesday night into Thursday. But this model is really favoring our south and southeast with the best chance of moisture and most of us will miss out according to the european model that will then clear out of here uh thursday night into friday morning becoming a nice little rainmaker to our southeast but unfortunately for many of us not getting much the gfs is the most aggressive with the rain for our area here's wednesday during the day as that cold front starts to pass through late in the day behind that front wednesday night here comes the moisture and this one actually does bring us some rain and snow snow out west rain farther to the east but notice not much up north. So it still favors the southeast, but includes a more, of a, more of our area with at least a chance of some rain. And then clears out of here Thursday night into Friday morning, pushing off to our east. A pretty good snowmaker possible over the Great Lakes region, parts of Iowa. But again, that's kind of an outlier model uh, right now. This is the North American model. Here comes that cold front late in the day. Here comes the moisture Wednesday night into Thursday. Doesn't look like much at this point, favoring southern Nebraska, northern Kansas. Some rain, maybe a mix out to the west, and then that clears out of here. And that's as far out as that model goes right now. It goes out to right there, basically. It goes out to about 12.30 uh, or 12, 1 o'clock Thursday morning, so it doesn't go out as far. But you get kind of a general idea. So basically, better chances of moisture to the southeast Wednesday night into Thursday little to no chance to the north in the tri-cities right now i'm including a 20 percent chance of rain for now so i'm kind of keeping it on the lower side of things so windy and cooler today warming back up tuesday and wednesday cooler again on thursday slight chance of rain right now is what i'll be going with and then beyond that friday saturday sunday ooh, sunday 70s there 
maybe near 70 on Saturday. So some very nice weather Friday and Saturday. Sunday, nice but windy. Windy is the story of uh, the first day of spring. But if you don't mind the wind, mid-70s looking pretty good. It looks like after that we will cool things down uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of next week. But that said, it's not a dramatic drop in temperature. So we're talking about 50s and 60s for highs still. So, yeah, cool down, but it's spring. That's the way it's supposed to be. But you can see... Really no signs of winter, like the, I'd really say the closest sign of winter would come Thursday if we see some of that snow out west. Right now, I don't think we'll see much for our area, at least as of now. We'll see if that changes in future forecasts over the next couple of days. So I want to thank you all for watching on this Monday morning. I hope it's a good one for you. Don't get blown away out there for today. I'll see you all again on Tuesday to talk about some really nice days ahead, Tuesday, Wednesday here. So uh, until then, have a good Monday, and I'll see you all again tomorrow morning. Bye.